Hey everyone, it's Wild Rage coming at you with some more Chaos Battle League. How's everyone doing today? Ah, I had school. School kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, gotta get that degree to make that money. Woohoo! Money! Alright guys, I thought I'd do a video here real quick because we've got some news. We've got news. We've got Medusa coming in. We've got, uh, all sorts of things happening here. We got an all-new league. Coming soon, a new league straight from the legends of old, and where our Masters of Chaos can write new stories on the battlefield. That should be interesting. I'm not sure. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of information, but there's a new league coming, so that's it. Um, we've got an event slithering in. Masters of Chaos Medusa is arriving in the tournament to slither and stone her way across the battlefield. She strikes from a distance, slowing and eventually freezing them into place. So there's going to be a toaster, uh, I'm sorry, I was reading toaster, but meant to say tournament. This will be a tournament that, um, kind of like tournaments of old, but what they're saying is that uh, there's a higher chance to win a legendary in the tournament toaster. It has increased by six times the original drop rate. I guess I don't know what the original drop rate is, I assume it's really small. So, I mean, but this should make it better. And it's saying, uh, so only those who make 11 or 12 wins will increase their chances of winning legendaries in the tournament toaster. So that's kind of cool. If you get 11 and 12 wins, I know lots of people got 12 wins on the last challenge and not many people got the, uh, well, at least not many people that I know got the assassin. So this will be nice that there's a bigger chance. Maybe I'll actually want to do the tournament more. Um, the next thing we have is balance changes. Everyone wants balance changes. Balance changes are fun. So uh, let's just go right into it. The vulture's attack speed changed from one second to 1.3 seconds that will make them a little slower to attack and yeah maybe a little easier to defend maybe the meta will get away from it the bolt stun duration changed from 1.5 to 0.5 seconds which is good because i mean being stunned for a second and a half for just just it seems like a lot for a two cost spell frankenstein my favorite one of my favorite uh, epics, Frankenstein. His stun duration from attacks changed from 1 to 5, 0.5 seconds. I don't know that that's really going to make that much of a difference. What I'd like to see is him go from, like, a slow to, like, a, I don't know, maybe a medium speed or something like that. Just because, I, I don't know, he doesn't make for the most viable tank. I would rather have the Shogun, which costs one more, but moves a little faster and does a whole lot more damage. The Obelisk, or I'm sorry, the Trapper... Bear Trap stun duration changed from 1 second to 0.5 seconds, which, you know, that seems to be the uh, the theme here, dropping stun durations to five sec 0.5 seconds. Um, the Obelisk was cost changed from 4 to 5, which is nice because for such a 4 cost, it did a lot of stopping power. It had a lot of stopping power. Um, the Bat Pack spawn quantity changed from 4 to 6, so instead of having 4 bats in your Bat Pack, you're going to have 6, which maybe more people will start using it, because honestly, I don't ever see the Bat Pack being used. Um, what do we have next? The Little Kraken health changed from 1700 to 1950. chain cost changed from 6 to 5. Tesla turret damage changed from 85 to 75, and attack speed changed from 2.7 to 3 seconds. So it's a 0.3 second increase, which, uh, I mean, if timed right, that can make all the difference. Freeze turret damage changed from 55 to 50, so it's doing even less. I didn't know that there was a problem with the freeze turret, but hey, we got changes. Mothership spawns two additional Martians on death. Van Helsing, one of my favorite cards from the beginning, stopped using them because his health was just, it, it wasn't viable. That is changed from 400 to 500. The captain got kind of a, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it got a kind of a big nerf from 700 to 575, which, uh, I don't know, doesn't make it, doesn't seem as tanky anymore. But it is only three cross, so I imagine people will still be using it. Uh, Dracula Hell changed from 1400 to 1200, spawns three bats on death instead of six. And a cool thing I learned, I don't know if it's cool or not, but, uh, I was playing a lab employee and I went up against a Gatling gun and when Dracula killed the Gatling gun, he actually gained life from that. I didn't know that he could gain life from buildings, uh, like that, but hey, that's what happened. The UFO cha health changed from 750 to 700. I don't know that that makes too big of a difference. Uh, Sandstorm cost changed from 4 to 3. 
Maybe it'll be a little more viable now that it's not four costs, it's only three. It still doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but, you know, that's something. The Tesla Explosion cost change from two to three, so now it's not two cost, it's three cost, which I don't think there is any more two cost. Um, bronze Armor Lifetime change from four to three seconds, so it'll be a little quicker because, I mean, that Bronze Armor... I think it was uh, OP, I was having a conversation with him one day, and he said Celestial Armor. I really like the name of Celestial Armor because, I mean, when they have that armor on, nothing can touch them. Not spells, not anything, they're just immune. Uh, the Dynamite Tower, which I've never used, is range changed from 5 to 6, so it's got a little bit more range now. And attack speed changed from 1.7 seconds to 1.5 seconds, so it's a little bit faster. And then Cerberus... The cost changed from four, 5 to 4, which is awesome because I love Cerberus. I loved playing with him right away when he came out. But then he came a little too expensive, and it just didn't fit into any of the decks that I was running. Uh, and apparently there's a Legendary Apalooza. Masters of Chaos, for one week only, Legendaries are guaranteed to be in the shop. That's right, starting from 2100 local time. Masters of Chaos will see Legendaries every day this week. So here's your chance to get the Legendary of your dreams. So that's cool. I mean, I have all the legendaries right now except for the assassin. So there's that. I mean, maybe I can get that. That'd be cool. Oh, look at that. Toaster open. Let's go ahead and open the toaster real quick. What do we get from our quest? We get 909 coins. 10 gems. 13 cyclops. 31 gargoyle pack. And 6 dojo. Yeah, it's not the best. Not the worst, not the best, but hey. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of these cards, and we're going to muck around and see if we can't come up with the deck to uh, use. We'll go ahead and throw the little Kraken in there, since that had a change. And we'll put, you know, I really like my Gunslinger, so I'm going to put her back in there instead of that. So we're running a 3.9, but we've got a number. Well, we don't have a number, but we have... The Dynamite Tower, which range increased from 5 to 6, its damage speed went up. We've got the Van Helsing, who went, uh, what did he do? He got a little health boost. Cerberus, cost went down. The little Kraken, health went up to 21.45. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win with this, but, uh, you know, maybe we should change this. Let's put, what should we do? Should we do bronze armor? Hmm. No, nah, I think I'll stay with the freeze or the Tesla explosion. I think we can do this. So I'm guessing that the Cerberus is going to be my tank. And then I'll play around that and see what we can do. I don't know how this is going to work, but hey, let's just get into it and see if we can't make something happen. Jumping right into battle, which is always nice. Always nice. Hey guys, I'm going to be on a little hiatus here. I'm going to try to get a better uh, overlay worked up here and hopefully make it look a little better because I'm not entirely happy with what uh, my overlay went. Oh, you know what? I was going to change to wave just because I had the Trojan horse in there. That's all right. We'll make this work. So, okay, so he's got a genie. We'll go ahead and put Van Helsing right here just to uh, kind of shore that up. Okay, so that's not going to work, but Van Helsing does have his knockback. Okay, so we've got those coming in. The Cerberus and all those should take care of it. Oh, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. All right, so we've got the Assassin coming in. Okay, but Cerberus was able to take her out, and yeah, we took that out decent. It wasn't the best, but uh, we'll just go ahead and throw down the Trojan Horse. We'll put a Gunslinger right behind it because the Gunslinger is fast. They'll hit that. The Spartans will come out and do some good damage. I think we're going to take that first tower. We will take the first tower. The genie will pop out of his lamp. We've got the genie. We've got the Martians coming in at us. Okay, so so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the little Kraken right here. We'll go ahead and bolt it all down and hopefully do some things. Only the Tesla tower. There we go. Okay, so we defended that pretty decent. He has... The Assassin coming in. I'll go ahead and one-shot that. Not too worried about that. It is a level 3, but, you know, that's okay. All right, so, I mean, playing a lab employee, as I've told you guys before, there's not a whole lot of strategy involved. 
just because they don't usually use a whole lot of strategy. All right, so he's got that coming in. I'll play the Cerberus there, and I'm going to play the Dynamite Tower right here. Let's see what this Dynamite Tower can do. Hopefully it can do some stuff before I lose this tower. I don't know if it can, though. I think I'm going to lose the tower. There was just too many things going on there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and bolt the mummies. And yeah, that was that was really close. So we're going to do this. I'm not worried about the assassin. She's going to go in, do some damage there. Once she attacks my tower, I'll put the uh, pistoliers behind her to take her out. He does have that coming in, but at this point, I think I'm just going to push for three crown and not worry too much about the tower that was just taken and as i say that all that happens so i mean <laughs> maybe i should be worried maybe i should be worried we'll go ahead and uh bolt all that down okay so we've got the assassin coming in we'll go ahead and put a van's helsing here and i'm just trying to waste time to uh get my stuff here i'm gonna put it, the trojan horse here then back it up hopefully with the gunslinger here in just a second yes and then I want to freeze everything, and that's game. Well, that was kind of cool. Go ahead and take a... Oh, I didn't get it in time. I was going to take a screenshot of that lightning going around, but that's okay. That's okay. So, that wasn't the, that wasn't the best of tests there, just because I was playing a... What do you call it? A lab employee. So, we're going to put the wave in there, just because I like the wave with that. Um... I don't know if this has the best synergy with each other. I mean, I've got all this going down. And Cerberus apparently isn't the best of tanks. So, what are we going to do here? As much as... No, I, you know what? Let's go ahead and put the Cyclops in there. And see what we can do with this. Can I donate? I can donate. Always got to make... Always got to make sure to donate in this because everyone's quick. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get into one more battle here. See if we can't get a win with this. Oh, excuse me, took a drink. I don't know that this worked any better than what I had before. But yeah, we're going to give it a shot. You win, you lose. Hey, it's a game, right, guys? That's all it is. We can't take it too seriously. I mean, of course, we all want to win, but... And when it comes down to it as a game, and sportsmanship to me is more important than anything else. So we're playing another lab employee. Eh, that's all right. I was just mainly doing this for the balance changes. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and put that there. And then we'll go ahead and put the Trojan horse there because that will distract the uh, assassin and the Frankenstein. Frankenstein is going way over there oops i pressed the wrong button there i should probably move that like up there or something huh just so it's not in my way there we go now it's gone all right can we get this cyclops in front of everything i think we can and we will so we got the cyclops coming in i don't know that i need the trojan horse too i guess maybe i don't need the trojan horse with this just because uh well i don't know the cyclops seems to be doing quite fine but again this is against a against a lab employee so it's not the best of tests and yeah we've got all this coming in here i i don't i think we're just gonna push here for three and we oh that was a good polymorph there but we'll get our uh we'll get those in there go ahead and bolt that just to uh get some good damage done on his main tower and yeah, we'll go ahead and play a Van Helsing here to help shore up these gargoyles. And then he's got... So we'll go ahead and put the dynamite tower here. That will distract, hopefully. Hopefully, no, it will not. It will not. No, we'll put the... Uh... Oh, no, he is within range. But now he's not because of the pushback from Van Helsing. Okay. But we were able to take care of the Frankenstein pretty easily with the, oh, excuse me, with the uh, Dynamite Tower, so that's something. All right, we've got Gargoyles coming in. I want to get this down, and then I want to get my, my Trojan Horse here, and then wave it in, which is kind of cool, because the wave actually pushes it. Okay, it didn't work that time. During the uh, tournament there, I was able to wave it right into 
the, uh, what do you call it, right into the uh, tower there. It didn't work for me that time, but that's okay. What do you do? We'll put the gunslinger over here just to help take out this obelisk. We'll go ahead and put Van Helsing in front of the Cerberus. They'll take out that gargoyle. He's going to put that there. So I'm going to put the Cyclops right in the middle here. And uh, we'll go ahead and bolt Frankenstein. Keep him uh, from doing too much damage. And with five seconds left, I mean, yeah, this is game, guys. This is game. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, maybe that will work. I, I won't know entirely until uh, I get an actual person to play against. But, uh, yeah, it might be fun to play. Might not. I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's up to your play style. It's how you, how you play. So, there's the deck one more time. Again, I'm not too sure about the Cyclops and the Trojan Horse. It worked alright, but again, not playing against a person kind of hurts it, so without knowing. But, yeah. So, those are the balance changes, guys. Those are all the news and events coming up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe, guys. That's all I'm asking. Just subscribe a little bit. We're at 736, and we're in 20th place. Yay! Huzzah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this time. Until next time, this is Wild Rage saying peace out. Make some chaos.